Bremen is obviously um, a very green city, liberally um, or politically very traditionally politically very liberal, but um, also green as in has very um, concrete, ambitious environmental goals. Um, I personally work for the Ministry for the Environment, Construction and Transportation, um, so I can share some thoughts of what we're doing from a transportation side. Um, but I know that Bremen also has a um, urban development guideline laying out goals to reduce greenhouse gas emissions by 40% by the year 2020, um, reducing space consumption, really focusing on development in the inner city rather than um, greenfield development. Um, there are also actions for climate resilient street design, um, climate adaptive housing and whatnot, but um, one of our core themes in my ministry especially is the development of a sustainable urban development plan or Verkehrsentwicklungsplan in German. Um, this uh, sustainable urban development plan was um, part of an intensive two-year consultation process with political stakeholders, stakeholders from the business community and a really intense public participation process with citizens. Not only um, traditional citizens that participate um, or volunteer to be part of consultation processes um, like the typical evening consultations, you know, um, so typically elderly gentlemen whose opinions are very important, especially in an aging society. We need to tap into that demographic. Um, but it also uh, was a really ambitious plan to target those what we call you know, non-traditional target groups for public consultation, meaning um, working people, families who don't have time to go to these evening consultations. Um, so what Bremen did was um, conduct an online participation process parallel to the um, normal evening uh, invitations which allowed citizens to comment on traffic situations um, where things were going well where things were not going so well um, to talk about chances and opportunities and really tap into what citizens need or citizens mobility needs um, we also had a gamification um, process a game where people could plan their own mobility scenarios um, see how various measures impacted other aspects of mobility and also to show citizens how complex it is to plan transport and to um, adhere to various needs. Uh, at the end of this process we came out with a sustainable urban mobility plan with um, laying out sustainability goals until the, the year 2025 um, and it's part of a really comprehensive plan uh, for Bremen. Another important pillar in the sustainable urban mobility plan was shared mobility. Um, because shared mobility is one of those uh, foundations for sustainable transport and can help us solve numerous urban transport problems. And this ambitious plan was approved across all parties. It was really a very successful um, consensus building uh, process. And uh, for this consensus building process and for the plan itself, we won the European Sustainable Urban Mobility Plan Award um, awarded by the Commission in 2015 last year. Last year. Um, for Bremen to take part in a conference like this means that um, uh, Bremen, especially our ministry and our, our working group, is part of an um, international dialogue on how to improve sustainability in cities, how to improve mobility services in cities, because transport is one of the major greenhouse gas emissions and um, despite many many um, accomplishments and much headway that's been made in um, reducing greenhouse gas emissions in the area of industry, housing, transport emissions are still far from reaching European goals and global goals. And we in Bremen um, believe that we have some solutions that are can be transferred to other cities. Um, we work very hard on sharing those um, solutions because we also um, I think it's important to share the city's experiences, especially uh, with certain financial restrictions involved. Um, if you know German cities and, and city-states, Bremen doesn't have a lot of money. 
Um, but with our realm of possibilities, we are still taking action, applying value for money, and um, making headway in the way we can. And uh, you know, for from many other places that people look to Bremen or other cities look to Bremen, and how you can. Um, plan mobility in a sustainable way and it's important to talk about that with other cities to share what we're doing well to share what we're not doing well because it's also good to learn from each other's mistakes and also to take back something home uh, take something home with us the outcome as of the, the conference in the backs declaration is it's quite encouraging um, because two weeks ago at the European Conference on Sustainable Urban Mobility Plans, um, Bremen presented its Bremen Declaration, um, which is also in discussion in the Endurance and um, Eltis platforms. And I was so pleased to see that there are so many points that overlap between the two declarations. Um, the Bremen Declaration is uh, a declaration for sustainable mobility development coming from a city and the Basque declaration is for um, sustainable development in, in general sustainability coming from a region and uh, it only proves that cities regions uh, go on hand and have similar priorities and um, I think that so many mayors um, got up and signed the Basque declaration it was one um, a confirmation that we as cities are uh, sort of all on the same team.